This tutorial covers a variety of software and techniques. Look at the description for timestamps so you can skip to the section most relevant to your editing setup. Clean dialogue is the most important component for mashups, fan trailers, remixes, etc. Sound effects and music can be added later, but dialogue is unique. The key is to find a 5.1 audio source, because usually in the 5.1 mix the center channel contains mostly dialogue, and sound effects and music are either not present or significantly lower in volume. For example, compare this... You're going somewhere very bad. To do something that'll get you killed. To this... You're going somewhere very bad. To do something that'll get you killed. Or this... She will kill anything that moves. Oh god. To this... She will kill anything that moves. Oh god. It might not be perfect, but it'll be better than dialogue mixed with music and sound effects at full volume. For 5.1 movie trailers, a good website is hdtrailers.net. Since they only have 5.1 audio for a select number of trailers, this Google search is the best way to find them. Or go to one of these websites which have a rotating selection of current trailers. From these sites, you'll either get an MP4 or MKV file. MP4s can be imported directly to Premiere, but MKVs first need to be converted to something like ProRes. Once it's in, right-click on the file and choose Modify Audio Channels. Here, you'll likely see that Premiere imported the 5.1 audio as only one clip. Change this to 6 if you want them all. Then you have to select the appropriate checkboxes so that each channel has only one track. Then while you're at it, save this preset so that you can go to the preferences and say, hey, use this audio setup for all the 5.1 audio files I import. And that's it, you're done. If you're using Final Cut Pro 10, import the 5.1 audio mp4 file, click the file, go to audio configuration, select 6 mono, and deselect all tracks you don't want, and you're good. If you're using Final Cut Pro 7, convert the MP4 or MKV to ProRes and make sure in your settings to retain the original audio source, then import, delete the extra audio channels, and you're good. So what if your editing software doesn't support 5.1 audio files? MKVs can be opened directly in Audacity. Just delete the tracks you don't want and export an AIFF or WAV. Then resync the audio to the original movie file in your editing software of choice. For MP4s, you'll have to demux the audio using MKV Toolnix, which will give you an MKA file that you can open in Audacity. If you want to use a Blu-ray, use Make MKV to rip it and follow the previous steps according to the software you're using. So what if you're editing footage from a video game? For in-game capture, check the menu options to turn off the music and or sound effects. If the game has no audio options or you want to use scenes from cutscenes, you're probably out of luck and will have to edit around the moments with music. But if the game has 5.1 audio output and you have a Blackmagic Intensity Pro or Shuttle hooked up via HDMI, you can capture multiple channels of audio. All games will vary, but some games like those by Naughty Dog even have an extra option to make sure the center channel is mostly dialogue. You'll end up with something like this. Hop on! <sighs> Got it! Instead of this. Hop on! Got it! And that's it! You now have the most important component necessary to make your epic mashup, fan trailer, remix, or whatever. Just remember that good audio is more important than good video.